Hello all, now respawns here, so I'm going to be showing you how to set up a rather efficient oxygen processing and cooling and distributing area. Now, just let me preface this. I'm going to do this all in one big go. Now, normally you don't want to leave it to do the whole thing. You're going to see, I think I get to about nearly 10 cycles before this entire thing is finished. It's ridiculous. So normally you would be digging everything out way before you've unlocked like basically this is me starting it just as i've researched every component i need but you can pretty much build it and even to the point of getting a lot of the parts even built even if you don't turn them on yet quite early on so because you'll see later in the video how i have a little bit of issues shall we say um now quick note with these gas filters you can actually rotate them if you press oh i didn't realize this I and mean, it says but i didn't read it at all so this this is actually quite tidy if those of you looked at my last colony will see that it was a bit messy in my oxygen production area but this is actually surprisingly efficient now for those people who don't get this it just goes you always match white to green in terms of the intake and the outtake uh, so the white is what's coming out and green is what's coming in so it goes from the pumps to the gas filters and then out again and now the pink one is what you're going to be filtering out of the gas filters and you want to set that to hydrogen i actually nearly forget when i turn them on <laughs> um, but it's fine so as you can see you only need really two i found for a colony of this size only two oxidizers uh, those little oxygen production things down the bottom here and as you'll see this is where i'm going to put my thermoregulators now i probably don't need three but I decided, because I'm still getting used to how much I might, for example, test around at some point. But I, I opted for three, just because why not? Um, what this will do is this will enable me to, and you'll see at the end, is I have a pretty much a standard of about 19 degrees throughout the entire colony, which is really cool. Because that means I can, I've got a load of those blossom flowers. So I'm going to replace one of my meal uh one of my what are called meal root, whatever they're called, farms uh, with blossom farm. That's going to be really, really cool. So as you can see here, it gets quite confusing at first, shall we say, <laughs> um, with the with the piping. But with out, because obviously this is just an outtake to the, it doesn't really matter which way the direction they're going. So often you don't want pipes to cross, but in this instance, it's not too much of a problem. To the point where I'm actually quite pleased with my organization of my gas pipes. Now you may notice as well, you see where I've got that, you can see that water pool just there. And there's another one. I cut out all of the building of this, by the way, so you don't see me building. And I've sped this up a little bit in edit. But I had um, a complete nightmare with training those pools. So I, you'll see just at the end, I've got little pools of concentrate, um, decontaminated water rather, um, where my colonists because the water, what happens is if it, there's water pressure near a certain point, I don't know how it's defined. Someone in the comments may be able to um, tell me. But with the exception of man-made tiles, the water can actually break through the rock and then it floods out. It, it's a complete nightmare. So just, a, just an FYI. Basically, all my colonists um, get really, really stroppy while making this. Again, because I'm making it all in one big go. So I'm basically forcing them to basically... <laughs> Just suffocate as well. They get really upset. After that. That's why I've got those two. If you ever do decide to do it like how I've done it here. So in one big go for whatever insane reason. Make sure you have massage chairs ready. And keep an eye on your... Um, the little brain in the top corner there. Will tell you what your highest level of stress is. Oh, and also don't worry about those vents. I do level them up. I wasn't paying attention. So there is my wonderfully organized and beautiful monstrosity. Now I'm going to add potentially a few of these gas tiles in a while but because I didn't know where my colonists would need to be stand I decided to leave it off right so everything's built now as you can see and I popped those ladders in I wasn't too sure if they could reach the top um, because I'll oh, watch this wait for it <laughs> I quickly have to cancel because I was get I was gonna tile up the area but then that's uh, a mechanized door. It was a really good idea because that way we're able to dig out that pump hole really quickly there, but also sort things out. So, now everything's like it's very organized and nice, but we need to get the electrical wires. Now that's the easier part, by the way, because you don't want, there's not really much you need to do with power. Now, what you want to do, you want it to come off like this and then put a switch. Now, the reason being is because. I don't really show it in this video as such in terms of how much oxygen, like you'll see it 
building up, which is, and so you know it is. But when you get further on and you've had this running for quite a while, you really won't need to have it running constantly because you'll have such a huge build up of oxygen. And it's it's quite useful if you want to, for example, just save water or just having the off switch just make it's really just a nice, efficient thing to set off. Now, the way the switches work is they have to pass horizontally through the switch. So they can't come vertically it has to go horizontally through that and that's currently on so if i would have just i do turn it off before i do the power but as you can see the power parts quite easily and you see that um easy rather and you can see that other pit at the bottom as well and you see how stressed people are getting <laughs> and all the build up of the um of the uh carbon dark side as well is an absolute nightmare all right you don't need to see watch me digging out the algae that was just me setting up the power so let's skip on to the next part as well so next comes the plumbing. Now, this part's pretty straightforward. I'm going to do... This is very simplistic um, because I will actually be doing... I'm going to start it probably, like, tonight. <laughs> but the actual video element of this, I will be just showing you a video of how I set up my plumbing and all of my just water purifying. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm actually building the plumbing directly to these as high as possible because where the toilets are and where the decontam... where that second currently empty pool is is where all of my contaminated water is going to be. And I just kind of want these pipes just out of the way. It does look quite a waste of space doing it the way I'm going to do it. But trust me, it is absolutely grand. To the point where I probably... I could have linked it. You see right there, I've got the pump going down. I could have maybe attached it to the the water there. But I decided to just pop it in here because it's the best way of doing it. Eventually, I get to close off this stupid area so they don't... keep. I don't like having the water that's used to power my machines available for my colonists to my dupes rather to actually access it's just a little thing so um i do have to sort out another pool at second i will actually show you my next video as well how i how i fill that tank it's really simple it's just now that i've drained the other one i'll actually i've got those two pools there you see i'll be then moving that pump that you see outside the colony at the bottom there um, i'll be moving that around basically but i'm just sending everyone they're really stressed <laughs> but yeah so it's just a kind of something I want to point out as well, and then you'll occasionally get this. You might have seen it at the start there, where I had to delete a load of the pipes. There's a little bit of a bug that sometimes, it's less of a bug, you just, it'll randomly change what material it's selected for what you build the items out of. So you see back there, I had to actually manually go check sandstone, or because it was trying to build with stuff that I didn't have much of. Anyway, so everything's built now, all power is connected. And all the water is currently... Well, actually, I think it's already flowing, but it's just not actually finished. But it's it's beautiful. It's really nice looking. But you can see the colour of the air. <laughs> because it's such a nightmare with leaving it to the last minute. Like, my food's low, everyone's a little stressed. But it's absolutely fine because I've got those crops. And you see those ones at the, ones even, the ones at the top are even stifled. It's putting the last of my airlocks in to keep things nice and organized at the moment there doesn't seem any problem i'll wait for it there we go oh but at the moment there doesn't seem to be problem with yeah don't forget to select hydrogen because i nearly forgot as i said there's any problem with putting loads of those thermum um, those cooling systems i've got the name of them now um high next to each other so I don't know if this is going to cause a problem maybe in a future update. So you you can already see. I mean, look at the way the oxygen's flowing around. I do remember to fix that pipe at the top corner there. I completely forgot. I don't know why. I think I accidentally deleted it when I was plugging up that hole. So in a second, I'm going to show you a little bit further on. So you can just see exactly how clear it is. So here it is a little bit further on. It's gotten rid of the carbon dioxide. I did set up a carbon dioxide scrubber. Just a really, really simple setup one for now because I had so much CO2. As you can see, this whole process took me 10 cycles. Now, I haven't lost anyone. The stress is already starting to go down, as you can see right there. Now, right now, the oxygen hasn't spread around too much to the point where there are areas with quite low oxygen count, but it does build up really fast. It's just because the vent closest to the actual setup get the oxygen first and it, it does split it up but not evenly but it's fine because it flows around in this it's a colony of this side it flows around quite efficiently to the point where i have over a thousand over a thousand five hundred and this is the temperature as you can see everything's really cool anyway hope you guys found that useful it's quite a, a complex thing getting the oxygen set up you just need a lot of space 
get your pumps, and this will be great because this means you have perfect temperature and airflow to actually have crops, and it, it looks cool as well. Ah, oh, it's so fun. And you can delete those shitty little lads as well. They're unnecessary. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. I'll have a new video up tomorrow, and until then, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I'm going to fix that stupid plumbing now. Anyway, take care.